The Mock Disaster brings together multiple programs throughout the college where we recreate what might happen in the real world should a natural and other types of disasters occur. Students from different programs in the School of Community and Health Studies come together knowing that a disaster is going to happen, but they never know until it actually happens. They get to actually practice and put in real life what they have been learning in their classes and working together in a true interprofessional collaboration. A train derailment was the first major incident that occurred, which of course causes hazardous materials leak and results in fire, and building collapse, people distracted causing a bus crash, and then from there there was other multiple medical related calls. And then to end the day off we had a situation where the fire spread through grasslands and into indigenous lands, which presents an issue that we don't often get to deal with. So it was a lot of layers to the, to the disaster uh, situation to produce a lot of patients. Students need to think outside the box, to think critically, to problem solve in situations that are of high pressure. It allows the students to see how in a real emergency, we don't operate in silos. When people are hurt, when people are in distress, there is teamwork involved. Besides the typical first responders such as police, fire, and paramedics, we brought in those social services programs to actually help out, as well as pharmaceutical, and of course nursing within that, to show and demonstrate the interoperability requirements as what would be faced in the real world. There's many disasters happening at the same time and everyone's feeling overwhelmed. We don't know what's going on. We don't know how many units are attending to this scene or that scene. It just gave you a real life example of how much pressure you would feel when a situation is happening that's out of your control. Communication is a huge thing. Getting fire, police, EMS, logistics and finance portion of everything. We all need to communicate you know, effectively and making sure everyone's on the same page. We can easily get lost in the chaos but within that chaos, we have to have organization. Being on the air and everyone's talking over each other, that's actually how it is in real life too. So just recognizing that things aren't going to be perfect, but we're all in the situation together. That is exactly what we wanted to happen. That was built in so that you would see how frustrating it is to try and communicate and every ambulance, every paramedic is trying to do the same thing at the same time. Those are the things that happen in reality. The students again rose up to the level. There was off script scenarios that were inserted and the students readily adapted and overcame those challenges. We had police officers, paramedics, firefighters working with us. They actually were mentoring our students. The feedback we got after the event was how impressed they were and how prepared the students were. Having those external partners that bring in the practicing professionals to work with the students, that hands down is like, there is nothing like that out there anywhere. There is nobody that can reproduce what we, we do here. It's one of a kind. If we were to come across a situation like that in real life, I know that I have this baseline that I can fall back on and I know, okay, I was able to handle this situation. I would have those things at the back of my mind because of the experience that I was able to obtain.